everybody, Cory here. So I am here today to share my wrap up for the Tome Topple Readathon. Now I realize that this readathon actually doesn't end until tomorrow, um, but I just finished my last book and I don't think I'm gonna be able to read another 500 page book, so I decided to just film my wrap up. I had a really fun two weeks. I got through some of my TBR, but I also mixed it up a bit. Um, so I'm here to show you what I read. So the first tome that I got through it's a big one, guys. It was over 1,200 pages long, and that is The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandra Dumas. I felt like I had to pick up this book. It's Crystal's favorite book. Um, and it's been one that I've been kind of just staring at for a really long time, and I'm pleased to report that I really, really liked it. Um, I really had no idea what the story was of The Count of Monte Cristo, to be honest. Like, I didn't even know that he went to prison. Like, I had nothing. Um, so I was greatly surprised by each twist and turn in here, and there are a lot of them. But if you didn't know, this book is about a man named Edmund Dantes, and through some backstabbing and conniving, he gets sent uh, to prison on an island for a crime that he didn't commit. He spends years and years in this prison until one day he makes his daring escape, and he uh, dedicates the rest of his life to getting revenge on the people that sent him there. Um, thoroughly enjoyable. It's super, like it's kind of fun and sassy in a way, which wasn't what I was expecting and I just really really liked it. I think like I could have done with it being like 200 pages shorter, but uh, yeah, I, a solid four stars and I get why Crystal really likes this book. The next book I read was sadly a bit of a flop for me and that is The Burning White by Brent Weeks. Um, this this is the Lightbringer series. This is the fifth and final book in the series. Um, I enjoyed the first four books enough that I wanted to see how the story concluded, um, but it definitely isn't a favorite of mine. Um, I know a lot of people do really like this series, so it might be a me thing, um, but this is set in a world in which um, people have magic that is uh, controlled by various colors. It is really an interesting magic system, but for me, it was just a bit too convoluted. I really didn't like the characters very much. Um, it's also like super fat phobic, which is just really doesn't sit with me in a good way at all. So um, if that's something that bothers you, like it bothers me, maybe skip this one. Um, but yeah, it's not my favorite series. Uh, what I did like though is because I didn't obviously want to reread the first four books. Um, it's at the beginning of this book they recap the first four books, which is really handy in a big series like this, and I wish more series did that. Um, so that part I really did enjoy. Next up we had another hit, and I'm super excited about it. I read The Toll by Neil Schusterman. Yes, the much anticipated final book in the Ark of the Scythe series, and I'm happy to report that I really, really liked it. Um, I obviously can't get into too much about what this one is about, again being the final book in the series. Um, but I can say that I loved how the characters developed. Um, I thought the ending really took me by surprise. At first I was like, do I like this ending? But I think I like the ending. If you haven't read it Scythe yet, pick it up. Neil Schusterman does dystopia unlike anybody else and it's simply fantastic and uh, I'm so glad to have finally, finally been able to read this one. And last but not least is another book that I think is probably a new favorite of mine and that is The Back of the Turtle by Thomas King. I finished this literally this morning on the way to work and I love it. Like, I'm pretty sure it's going to be on my favorite books of the year list. It's an indigenous novel um, about a man named Gabriel Quinn. Um, it's told in multiple POVs and the way that this is written and the way the POVs end up crossing over is just so cleverly done. Um, Gabriel was a scientist and uh, he worked for like companies that create like GMOs and uh, like they like, worked with genes and things like that. And through the results of some of his very own research, um, the reservation where his mother and sister live is devastated and it's called an event called the ruin and it's just tragic. Um, so he has now returned to the reservation and is um, on a mission, to be honest, in this book um, to kill himself. Um, that said, it's not like a super sad book, like there's def it's definitely sad, but it is this just wonderful commentary on a climate 
which is it just really talks about climate change and how corporations are able to uh, sweep their misdeeds under the bus so easily um, and also guilt and uh, you know he didn't mean for this um, any of this research to cause to kill people like that wasn't the intent but you know what is intent and uh, it was just such a good book I feel like I'm blabbering a little bit but I highly 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 recommend it um, it's fantastic I am going to pick up more Thomas King immediately all right so those are the four books I read during the Tome Top of Readathon I think I found a couple new favorites and you know having one dud isn't the end of the world but I really really enjoyed myself I really like reading long books so this was a fun experiment for me uh, if you participated in the readathon let me know let me know what you read if you liked anything um, and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos every week happy reading and thanks for being awesome bye